with its deep impressive volume compression, motivated by the problem of compressing live performance capture. As you can see in this video, a subject is being reconstructed into 3D models by this capturing rig. The geometry and texture are then compressed and streamed over Wi-Fi to this laptop. This requires a 3D compression rate that is similar to traditional 2D video compression. There are a few existing solutions. Cole et al. and Draco are mesh compression algorithms. In contrast, our previous work from 2018 is volumetric compression with state-of-the-art efficiency and quality. However, the geometry compression part is not optimized end-to-end -end for optimal rate distortion trade-off. In addition, it compresses raw RGB camera streams for texture, which does not scale well with more cameras. In this paper, we provide a complete solution to compress both the geometry and texture. We follow the strategy of our previous work, divide the volume into small blocks and only deal with blocks that are occupied by the surface. Similar strategy has been used in other problems this year. Our geometry compression was inspired by the matching cubes, which can convert a sine distance field into a triangle surface. Here is a 2D toy example. Think of it as a slice taken out of the 3D volume, where each corner is a voxel that contains the sine distance to the surface. The matching cubes algorithm first looks at the signs of the voxels and figures out the occupancy based on sign changes. Then it calculates where exactly the surface intersects with the grid using the magnitudes. Note that the signs are binary, while the magnitudes are real numbers. This inspired us to compress the signs losslessly, but magnitudes in a lossy way. This is our geometry compression pipeline, which contains a sign branch and a magnitude branch. Magnitudes are compressed lossily in the form of a latent code Z hat, while the signs are compressed losslessly using the conditional distribution P which allows us to capture the spatial structure to better compress signs. Note that the decoder D needs to be run at the sender and receiver to ensure the sign arithmetic coders on both sides using the same probabilities. Our loss function contains a distortion term and two rate terms for magnitudes and signs respectively. The distortion term measures the reconstruction quality. In particular, it measures the L2 difference of SDF values between ground truth and reconstruction. Since we only care about voxels near the surface, a focal loss on the occupied cells can be constructed with ground truth occupancy. Moreover, since the signs are losslessly compressed, on the receiver side, we have the ground truth occupancy, which brings us an extra benefit to lower the reconstruction error. This is a 2D toy example showing the ground truth surface in green and the reconstructed surface in red. On the left, without ground truth occupancy, one can only hope that the reconstructed surface is close to the ground truth, but there is no guarantee. In the middle figure, with the ground truth occupancy provided by the losslessly compressed signs, the reconstructed surface is guaranteed to be inside the same cell. Therefore, the maximum reconstruction error is bounded by the size of a voxel, as you can see quantitatively on the right. This video shows us the comparison with Draco and our previous work, given similar rate budget. For Draco to be able to achieve the same compression rate, we need to decimate the meshes and as a result lose mesh quality. Our previous work suffers from block artifacts, while this work can achieve similar quality to ground truth. As to texture compression, an intuitive way is to convert the volumes to meshes with matching cubes, generate UV parameterization, and then compress the UV maps with a modern video compressor. However, as you can see in this video, there is no temporal consistency without expensive tracking, and this is not friendly for typical video encoders. To address this issue, we then designed the novel but simple texture parameterization method, which naturally combines with our geometry compression pipeline. Since the volume has already been divided into small blocks, we can also divide the UV space into small patches and generate local UV parameters for all blocks in parallel. More importantly, if we order the 3D box using a 3D Morton code and the 2D patches using a 2D Morton code, we can then simply associate them with the order. As a result, the generated UV maps are encouraged to be temporarily consistent without tracking. In this video, you can see our texture maps are more temporarily consistent and have similar rendering quality with UV Atlas. Because of this, when compressed with H.264, our video is much smaller. Thank you for your attention.